what do you say we have a look at something I just picked up at the resale shop? Uh, anybody who collects diecast may recognize this name, Winross. Winross is an advertising company that actually will put your logo on... Let me see if I can get this in here. There. Let me see, get my glasses on so I can read that to you. It says... Winross is a registered trademark of the Winross Company Incorporated. Custom produced truck models made in USA for advertising and promotional programs by Winross. And of course, there is a, uh, an, a an address. And yes, they're still in business. So anyway, some of these vehicles actually sell for quite a lot of money. Uh, I believe I've researched this one down to 1998. That's when this one is from. So anyway, um, it's nice to get it complete in its box because it just no shows me that it hasn't been molested at all. So what do you say we uh, get this lid off of here and uh, let's have a really good look here. As you can see, I paid four dollars and ninety eight cents for that, and I plan on leaving it in its box. So I'm gonna have to take a blow dryer or something to heat this up and try to get this tag off. But I call that a pretty damn good deal so as you can see this is a tractor uh, with two trailers so it's going to be running doubles is what they call that so right there you can see it says so we can get that in here it says win ross anyway everything on this thing with the exception of these little those are those are uh, rubber a rubber like material very stiff and the tires are rubber everything else is die cast the rims the suspension as you can see it has working suspension and you have a die cast door here and it will spring up as you can see like so revealing the cargo area and get that in here there you are central freight lines it just kind of Folds right down into place like that. And it just kind of clips into place. Let's set that aside. You have another one like that. And we will be assembling this as a double here in a moment. Sure. An additional fifth wheel is required to actually make this run doubles. Let me get that up in the, the shot here. Okay. And, of course, the tractor itself. So, full suspension, die cast rims, everything is die cast. Die cast tanks, polished aluminum grill and headlights. No interior, that's unfortunate, but you know what? I suppose if you really want to get down to it, I could probably do something about that to make this a fully detailed scale model. But everything is die cast. There's no plastic on here whatsoever. So, super high quality, very cool. Man, it just looks so photogenic. Look at that thing. Oh, I love the working suspension, too. Very cool. Let me get this box out of the way here. Of course, we will be keeping that box. So, uh, let's see here. So, you see that you got the little clip down here in the back here, and inside there is a little hole. See if you see that? Well, that goes like so. You see a little peg there? You lift up, snap that in. There. Now you have your other fifth wheel. Let me get that into focus there. You see that? So now we can actually come around, peg that guy in like so. Peg that guy in like so. And now. We're running doubles. Wow, pretty wicked. I mean, even on display, I mean, that would be pretty nice. In fact, the more additional fifth wheels you have, you could just keep going, but that would be unrealistic. I know in rare occasions they do run triples, but doubles are pretty common. I see those on the road a lot. And it rolls really nice, you know? Very, very cool find for $4.98. I must say, 
I'm uh, tickled by that. Haven't done a die cast review in a while. Lord knows I have a wall full that I want to get to. But I enjoy die cast. And when I find something like this, you know, hey, I'm ecstatic. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Holland Wolf out.